we have an Excel file in SharePoint, which is our OneDrive. And the goal is to import this into Excel using Power Query and load it into a pivot table report. And then later come back here, Add Data, and simply click Refresh in the pivot table and have our report update. If I click on this file, this opens in Online Excel, but that's our data. And later, we'll add more data. We select the file. And I learned this awesome trick from this awesome YouTube channel, Access Analytic, run by Win Hopkins, an Excel MVP. To import the file, you select it, and then you come over to this Information I and click. And in the task pane at the bottom, there it is, the full path. This is a SharePoint path. So I'm going to click that to copy it. Over here in Excel, Data, Get and Transform, which is Power Query. And I'm not going to go from From Web. I'm going to say Get Data from File from Excel Workbook. Click. Down here, I'm going to Control V. And because this is a SharePoint, when I click Open, select my object, click Transform. If I go back to the source step, click the Expand button, sure enough, it did put in web.contents, but then it wrapped Excel.workbook around it. Selected that particular object, changed the type. Now we're going to close and load, close and load two. We're going to load it directly to the pivot table cache. So we click Pivot Table Report, click OK. And this is survey data, so I'm going to drag it down to rows. Instantly, we get a unique list. Drag it to Values, we get a count. Drag it again to Values. Right click, Show Values as, Percent of Column Total. I'm going to rename these. Now back in OneDrive, SharePoint, I'm going to open this up, add some new data below the Excel table. Control S, Close. Come back over here, right click, Refresh and everything updates.